your team. There is much to be done. Hello friends, Jonster Monster, episode 62 of Midnight Suns, and let's see what we're doing. Oh yeah. Normal. Heroism, so don't um, do any of environmental attacks. Where's that all located? Pretty cool, those rock formations. <laughs> oh, yeah, that nighttime is supposed to be in the memorial service. their plans. Show them what happens when you mess with the Midnight Suns. I will make it quick. for this fight. That's weird that hit hitting her doesn't kill her. No mercy for the servants of the Your mother abandons you. What did you expect, honestly?
are joining the fight. I hope you're keeping score at home. Is this what you had hoped for? the upper hand for now. Quick work of you. I bet you've never seen one this big. Now that was something. Servants fall. Okay. 
waiting. Now let that be a lesson to you. Some for the rest of us. And by yourself. Very gracious of you. They'll take that beating to heart, but we can always hope. Hey Hunter, uh, I'm gonna be saying some words about Blaze for the team. We're gathering in the cave right now. Come join us. has the best food outside of Greece. Not that it matters to me. Good girl, Charlie. Doctor Strange is fascinating. His magic is incredibly powerful. Hello. Look at us! Two undead heroes doing hero stuff! That is us. But going for a swing helps clear the cobwebs. You should try it. Salutations. Oh. 
Hunter, hello. Need something, dear? What do you know about Transia? Transia is your ancestral homeland, Hunter. The birthplace of Lilith and Caretaker. It has always been a sort of magical junction, drawing in every type of occultist, sorcerer, and even the occasional Elder God. The Abbey Grounds still behave in much the same way, even after all this time. And Wondergore? Wondergore Mountain has always played a prominent role in whatever scheme was underway. Cathon himself is said to have created the Darkhold, deep within the caverns of the mountain. Until we speak again. Hey, um, thanks for coming, everybody. I, I know we're all stretched thin at the moment. We're all here for you, Robbie. We know this is important to you. But we should move things along. <laughs> I know what you're all thinking. You thought Blaze was a major league asshole. <laughs> wow, I thought Professor Xavier was the mind reader, Logan. Quiet, you. <laughs> anyway, Blaze, yeah, he wasn't nice. But it's not a nice world. And sometimes you gotta be that way to get things done. And he really got a lot of things done. <laughs> so, you kids remember that. You won't always be so fresh-faced and innocent. <sighs> Thanks, Logan. Uh, you said it better than I ever could. Did he? To be honest, I, I really struggled with what I was gonna say. Because I used to worship the flaming ground Blaze rode on. And then I met him. And, safe to say, didn't worship him so much anymore. Fairly certain, I hated him. Right until he went and sacrificed his life to save mine. Johnny might not have been perfect, but at the end of the day, he was one of us. And I'm glad to have known him. To Johnny Blaze. Johnny Blaze. Johnny Blaze. Johnny Blaze. Johnny, Johnny, Johnny Blaze. Is that it? Can we go now? Nice. I hope that was an accident. Hmm? Chaos magic is a huge drain on my mental health, you know. I have lots to talk about. Too much. There's magic. Transform on me now. to visit my favorite bodega cat. Meow. Yes? I ain't much of a conversationalist. More of a fighter.
Ah, Hunter, I was just admiring the collection. Someone spent a great deal of time piecing this library together. I hope you don't mind me, uh, having a look around. Of course not, Doctor. The library is an asset to us all. Yeah. I see I'm not the only one who's taken an interest in these works. You haven't been getting into anything precarious, I hope. I mean, Nico has. We... I have found something on the Abbey grounds that I think you should see. Ooh. Oh, sounds mysterious. Just By all me. means, lead the way. Oof. Okay. I typically avoid venturing this far from the Abbey, especially at night. Yeah. Perhaps someday, when this is all over, we can tour the more interesting pocket dimensions together. I've always found the Halls of Fear to be an invigorating trip. It makes Tony nervous, you see. Not in the... I'm concerned about your personal well-being, Dr. Sense. I think he's actually more afraid of what might happen to my side of the forge without proper supervision. Oh, damn. Which, to be fair, is a valid concern. And in most cases, I'm perfectly content to bide my time studying safely indoors. But I'm sure there's nothing to fear with you by my side, Hunter. This is embarrassing. There's an unsettling air about this place. Yeah. This church belonged to a preacher named Hiram Shaw. His influence turned Salem against its coven. A charismatic personality and a fearful populace can do much evil together. Mm. There was more to it than that. Yes, I suspected as much. to bring this to my attention, Hunter. Yeah. I thought it resembled one of your wards of protection. There's a reason for that. It's the same magic Wanda invoked in her attempts to protect the Sanctum. Right. But what is it that you're chasing out here? These wards aren't something to toy with. I will not know for sure until I get past this. Is there any way to dispel it? Unfortunately, no. What good would the wards of protection be if they were so easily broken? But I have been wrong before, at least recently. <laughs> Do you have any suspicions as to who may have conjured this here? Caretaker has shown no hesitation to sealing off the grounds at her discretion. True. Caretaker could find the resources to create a ward if she put her mind to it. The only way I will know for sure is to find a way through to the other side. I'll think on it and see if I can come up with some way to assist you, Hunter. For now, though, you'll have to be patient. Yeah. You go 
on, Hunter. I'd like to study this area a bit more. The gods are fickle. You go on, Hunter. I'd like to study this area a bit more. There must not be anything here. You go on, Hunter. I'd like to study this area a bit more. Goodbye, for now. You have problem? Is this another movie night? And if so, where is Nico? It's not an official movie night. It's more of my way of saying thank you for being a friend. Mm -hmm. I didn't have many growing up. Just your brain. Wasn't exactly the popular kid, if you know what I mean. Me either. Let me guess. People were afraid of you. Goes with the whole hunting and killing demons line of work. Most people find it off-putting. You save people's lives, and they repay you with fear. Typical. Yes. They were scared of what I had to do to protect them. More specifically, what I was capable of doing. Did it bother you, being feared? No. Not at all. Yeah. Well, it bothered me. Made my life hell. In Transia. It was just me and my brother Pietro for a long while. We wandered from village to village, begging, doing odd jobs, scrounging by any way we could. Tough times make us tougher. Yeah. And they break you in ways you don't always understand until much later. I wish living in utter squalor was as bad as it got, but it was better than how we got there. 
Oh? When I was a child, Transia was very poor. Our parents could find no work. One day, my father stole bread to feed us. A mob chased him into our neighborhood. I was terrified for him. I told them to stop, and half of them turned to stone. I didn't mean to. I didn't understand my powers or how to use them, but I got scared, and people died. But the worst of it... Father pointed at me and cried out, Witch. And then he was part of the mob, and they were after me. Pietro grabbed me and ran, faster than any person can run. We realized we could never go back. We were different, and had to look out for ourselves. That explains a lot about you, Wanda. How so? The toughest, most resilient people are often forged in tragedy. I don't feel tough or resilient. Survival isn't a moral triumph, Hunter. You managed to evade the chaos, that's all. I felt like my life was cursed with misfortune, heartache, and pain ever since. It wasn't until recently that I began to feel that curse lift. What changed? You. I met you, and you saved me. So, thank you for being a friend. Didn't know how much I needed one like you. Trust me, the hell right's top dog. Okay, that was pretty badass, Robbie. It was. I don't even have time to read, unless it's related to a mission. Pull up a stool, Hunter. Never too early to get caffeinated. Stark convinced me to put a shot of his new Stark Drive energy drink in my coffee. Stark Drive? Sure. It tastes like sweaty gym sock dipped in coffee, but mm. at least it wakes you up. And if we're headed to Transia, I'm gonna need it. This thing could last 24 hours or 24 days. Hard to tell. Transia is a treacherous place, filled with all sorts of forgotten locations. We could be battling Lilith's forces there for a long time. That's what I'm afraid of. A place like Transia is as dangerous as they come. It makes sense that Lilith would go there. Back to the homeland, that is. Back to the source of her powers. She's gonna be in for a real nasty shock if she's looking for home. It's not like the old days with the Knights of Wundagore riding around the place. Red Skull and Hydra did a pretty good job of screwing Transia up in every way possible. No matter what the people of Transia have had to endure, they are about to endure much worse. Poor people. That's why I'm loading up on caffeine. It's gonna be nasty. It looks like the others are gathering now in the war room. Yep. I'll head that way myself. Just need a few more sips of sweaty gym sock. 
I gotta talk to Stark about getting some new flavors. Set anything on fire today, have you? Oh, you are going to love this. Find more coil, send it my way. Probably gotta take Nico on a mission to get more values. No pain, no gain. Tony is working. How's it going, boss? I have high expectations. Sometimes, I even impress myself. I'm pretty sure Charlie left a steaming coil in the hallway. Third state of matter, indeed. Here if you need me. I still say we should have built a firing range first. Ready for more? Let's see him try to handle me now. Better test this out next time.
Ain't gonna go easy, bub. See you around. Chit chat. I'm gonna wait near magic. Transia is a country in trauma. Their borders could easily destabilize at any moment. The people there, they have seen so much war, trauma, and pain. We must spare them at all costs. Right. I'm packing coffee pods. Anything you like? Yes. The coffee shop cinnamon blend. <laughs> Good call, Ileana. Transia is known for lots of trauma, war, and terrible coffee. We cannot expect to save the day with decaf. <laughs> that would be counterproductive. This will be a very strange homecoming. We are not our homes. We are our family. And our little spooky family here can get through anything together. I missed you, Ileana. So, I read in your war journals, G47 to be specific, that you think Transia. Is that a question? More like a prompt. You know, to see if the journals were true, or if there was something you left out intentionally. Ah, for intel. Yes, definitely for intel. If so, war journal number 47 is my favorite. So when you were surrounded by Hydra troops in that transient cemetery, did all that stuff really happen? Where you bounced the shield off the tombstones and took out like ten elite troops? No. Oh, so you made it up? No, I cut out the more unbelievable parts. Lots of redacting. Truth was way crazier. I knew it! Let's discuss. But first, the mission. Right, right, the mission. Good call, Captain America. You enjoyed calling me Captain America, didn't you? Yes, a little too much. I'm kind of a big fan. It is quite something you were able to escape Lilith's control. That means so much to me right now. Yeah. Back to Eastern Europe? Maybe I can finally get some decent pampushka. <laughs> Hydra hard. Thransia has been through a lot. Maybe we don't go in there powers blazing. Perhaps there's a way to do this with some stealth. Yeah. Yes? Will my Thransia ever know peace? 
We must try and spare as many innocent lives as possible. Transia has only known strife and sorrow, and now Lilith, Cathon, and Hydra have built their depraved hive there. If I must collapse Wondagore on their operations, I shall. I spend a lot of my focus on making sure I don't accidentally turn everyone into bobblehead dolls. Transia? Never heard of it. Do they have burritos? I still can't believe Tony Stark is here. In the Abbey with us. Crazy, isn't it? That is one way to describe him. I mean, the guy's the richest, smartest dude on the entire planet. L least according to his website. Hmm. I don't know. You think maybe he'd be able to do me a favor? You know, after we save the world, I mean. If Stark has something you need, go to him now. He is here to help us in our battle against Lilith. Okay, pump the brakes a bit, Hunter. It's not for me, it's for my little brother Gabe. He will be joining us in the fight? Oh no, uh, don't get me wrong. Gabe's one of the coolest, strongest people I know. It's just, um, he's 11. Oh, then how would Stark help him? Well, uh, Gabe was born paralyzed from the waist down. It hasn't really slowed him down, but... The only wheelchair I can afford right now is not exactly the deluxe model. Was hoping Tony could maybe help build Gabe some upgrades when this is over. Oh. Repulsor beams optional. Stark is loud and foolish, but he has a good heart. Talk to him. If he can help your brother, I am sure he will. Yeah, we'll see. Uh, thanks, Hunter. I'm here if you need me. How's it going? Well, thanks for watching. And talking. Ah! This one's Quiet. I hear voices.